To apply textures to an object, we need to make a custom component. So let's jump right in. Now that we've created the mesh, it's time to load the texture we want to apply. Actually, there are two ways to do this. The first is by using the use loader hook, which we used in the previous tutorial for loading models. This time though, we'll use it with the texture loader instead of the GLT of loader, since we'll load the texture obviously. By the way, make sure you have the images in the public folder in your project directory. Now we'll pass the texture to the map prop in the material component. The second way to load the texture is by using the use texture hook from Gray. Applying a texture to a box is no different from applying it to a sphere. So we'll create a custom component, use one of the two methods to load the texture, and then pass it to the material. This will give us a box with all six faces displaying the same texture. But what if I want a unique texture for each face, you might be asking. Well, to do that we'll need to pass a unique material with a unique texture to each face. Usually when we pass a material to the mesh, it gets applied to all six faces. However, if we want six unique materials for the faces, we'll pass six materials, each for a specific face, using the attach prop. The scene itself isn't an exception to the rule, so we can map a texture onto it. That said, we'll just need a way to access it, since it's created implicitly. To do that, we'll use the use3 hook, so I'll also import the color class to change the background color before moving on to applying textures. Now to change the background using a texture, we load the image and assign it to the background property instead of using a color instance. As you can see the image is displayed but it looks washed out and that's because the texture isn't set to the correct color space. In case you're not familiar with the term color space, this video is definitely a must watch. So to fix that, we'll simply import the sRGB color space object from the core of 3GS and assign it to the color space property of the texture. Finally, a React 3 fiber scene is essentially a box, which means we can map unique textures to its faces, just like we did with the box. This is helpful for making your scenes feel like real environments. That said, to change the background this way, we have two methods. The first one is once again using the use loader hook combined with the cube texture loader this time. The second and easier way is by using the use cube texture hook from Gray.